and I thought after one and a half hour uh, and sharing a lot of screens, um, rather than looking at the PowerPoint, which I also could have, but I, I choose now to rather storytell. So maybe if you will feel comfortable, because I know it is recorded, but if you feel comfortable, maybe you can show your faces that we feel a bit more in proximity of each other. And uh, nice, hello. Because uh, uh, I'm now asked to be the last speaker of uh, a beautiful series. And it has been so beautiful to see all the different places every time and that there are so many of us. And um, yes, uh, to remind us that we are much all uh, feeling how water is so uh, such a key element in our lives. Um, it, it, it is not for many people, but one thing that came clear in Tokyo was also that if you only address water, uh, you get about 5% of the people uh, in the room. Well, and that happened to be uh, uh, the, us. But if you connect water and heritage, um, which is actually us, uh, uh, but then you suddenly get 95 or everyone in the world because then you can speak to our hearts um, and so i think that is very beautiful about bringing the water uh, as heritage water and culture together so i'm very happy to be um, part of this building this narrative together or continuing actually like we saw in many of the stories today and so this realization that we mainly are water and that from this cell level, cellular level and mole molecule water level, we are, we are equally young and equally old, right? That's so interesting. We have different ages, all of us, but from that cell and water molecule level, we are anciently old and super fresh. Our eyes are refreshed a, a few hours or a few days ago, and they are tired looking at these screens all the time right now and not feeling each other's hands anymore so just realizing that um is, is such an asset i think to bring us to an awareness and in our action all the time um and then that realization and that's where where i my approach comes in is that we are all around the world part of water sheds or river basins or catchment areas however you call it and I've been calling them um, uh, river families. And I noticed that Dr. Yu from Taiwan was also saying water is, uh, our, uh, we are all part one river community. Uh, and uh, Nupur was also uh, emphasizing it. Uh, water is the best connector, not only the past and the future that Dr. Yu was also showing us, uh, but also the non-humans and the human area. And so this, watershed level where we each share the similar water like water being a bloodline this is where how i mobilize people in watersheds now towards a world with drinkable rivers and we might think that's quite utopian uh, but actually i can maybe share one uh, image with you let's see if i can do that well maybe i will i don't want to actually no i'm not going to do it um, but it's an, uh, an image from John Constable, a painting of a farmer boy laying on his belly and drinking from the river in 18 something. And um, this is now in the London Gallery. And uh, so if we just imagine that it's only a few generations ago that almost all rivers in our world were drinkable and now almost none. Uh, and that uh, it will require all of our actions every day. Um, so it's suspending a time uh, and, and uh, level um, that it will take to, to make it drinkable, to come to a drinkable river again and to keep it drinkable. And that it will only require maybe one action. And that's what we saw, of course, in the story of Karim, where he was saying that we know it for already 5,000 years that the upstream and downstream relationships are vital to our coexistence and our continual existence. But we have to now relearn that again. I don't see Karim, but I know he's here. So um, 
yeah, how do we get that wisdom again of how everybody can be in this? Uh, and so uh, it is, uh, and, and, and uh, yesterday also with Hank uh, speaking, emphasizing, reminding us that this is a way of living. And that is also how I see my life work. I've been walking, um, I've been living 15 years actually without a house. Now I live in Amsterdam, so it was lovely to see the history of Amsterdam from uh, Marta's perspective, making me more aware of my own home place. Um, and, uh, but during those years of uh, 15 years without a house, I've been walking around the world, mainly following water systems and uh, talking to people. And this is now what with the drinkable rivers we are continuing doing. We have citizen science now happening all over Europe and we are going to expand that in other places where we invite people to experience their river, monitor their river, because I believe in experience, love, care, that once we experience our own waters, our own uh, rivers again, we understand the importance again, and then our love will grow. Uh, and then I think ultimately our care will grow. And so um, it, it's not a matter of being bounded by time or by, by national boundaries, um, but it's about how to aliven this every day more and more. Um, and I think through connecting it to our deep past, uh, like the examples we heard, it will, we will feel so much connected with this human story uh, for so long that, that this is not, not something new. We have seen pandemics, we have seen all kinds of uh, challenges, and now it's our test to let that all come together. Um, and I feel that that's what this pandemic now also um, shows us. It's not only showing how every one matters, every action matters, um, but also um, that this is uh, almost a practice for the challenges coming our, our ways uh, of that we are all very much aware of. So my birthplace was this place of at least minus six meters below sea level. It's, it's the lowest place of the lowlands, probably making me uh, much more um, aware of uh, caring is important and acting is important. And so that seemed to be a utopian place to grow up, um, but it, 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 it showed it wasn't. So we can do, we can make miracles, all of us. Um, and yeah, let's, um, uh, let's do that. And where uh, Hans was saying, um, it, it becomes a vector. Uh, if the, the drinkable river be can become like a compass, uh, it might help us navigate and collaborate in something that is not excluding, but including, and it's something that is very concrete that a child understands at the, and that a, a minister understands. On fr coming Friday, we meet with the um, um, uh, mayor's network, and so uh, we're connecting mayors now of uh, the River Meuse um, that is starting now, but mayors of for drinkable rivers we have started as well. Uh, where we start to learn this upstream and downstream collaboration, uh, where we acknowledge that water is what connects us. So take care of our eyes and your own waters and your warm hands. And um, yeah, uh, that's uh, a bit of a different story than a PowerPoint, but I, I'm happy to see all of you and feel uh, connected.